I thought this was incredibly funny and very much in line with Kanye and the guy that I love because in an in an attempt to wish Bianca Sensori, Kanye's wife, a happy birthday, he also sneaked this Kim. This is so toxic, so unnecessary, but so very Kanye West coded. So Kanye posted a picture of his wife, Bianca Sanzori, on his Instagram with a very gushing and loving caption. But if you actually read the caption, it sounds like praise for his wife, but it also sounds like this to Kim. Look at the caption. Happy birthday to the most beautiful, super bad, fun, iconic muse, inspirational, talented artist, master's degree in architecture, 140 IQ loving by my side every day when half the world turned their backs on me and most amazing stepmom to our children. I love you so much. Thank you for sharing your life with me. <laughs> Kanye is such a piece of shit in an effort to give his wife props and to give her a lovely message on Instagram for her birthday he also found a way to very subtly send some shots at fucking Kim by saying all these things about Bianca because I guess she's the opposite of Kim right Kim isn't inspirational Kim is not longer his muse Kim is not talented she's not an artist she doesn't have a master's degree in architecture her IQ isn't 140 <laughs> <laughs> Kanye is such a piece of shit to do this honestly in a, you know like he made his wife's birthday all about himself in a way and I love it honestly that's why he's my goat he's so unhinged he's so all over the place it's almost impressive that he's able to manage he's able to always be in stable relationships not stable but you know Kanye is not really Kanye should be more of a bachelor he should be out there you know sucking and fucking everything based on his behavior but he actually somehow despite being crazy he still manages to find women that want to settle down with him don't you find that interesting no he really is a walking red flag yes he has a lot of money but he's a walking red flag like you don't know what you're gonna get when you wake up right he might be walking barefooted you might be ranting about fucking israel and the jews he might be fucking talking about some you know the the trainer that's fucking following him around the world he might be talking about his kids and abortions and shit he might be in an anytime mood and the fact that he always seems to find a woman who's willing and able to settle down with him is pretty impressive you know like it's pretty impressive it goes to show that you know kanye's riz is undefeated you have to assume like he has got decent riz when you look at his fucking rap sheet of women that he's been involved in especially long-term relationships like kanye gets kanye gets the bitches kanye gets the fucking bitches let's not lie kanye fucking gets the bitches so i love that he wished her happy birthday that way i also love that if you actually go on his instagram the pictures he took of her um for to celebrate her birthday were fucking hilarious he turned his entire feed like a praise of her but the pictures are very salacious. Hopefully they don't get me taken off of fucking YouTube. But it's interesting pictures, you know? Interesting pictures that he chose to kind of, you know, pinpoint how much he loves his woman. But yeah, Kanye's love for Bianca is real. Kanye's love for Bianca is fucking real. You absolutely love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Next on the list here, a quick one to mention the Yeezy pods. Um, I really like these. I'm not going to lie. Um, they're not necessarily for me. I feel like my feet are too fat to really make these work. I think you have to have really slim feet to make these work. And unfortunately, my feet are really fat and wide. But I really love the Yeezy pods. I think they look fucking amazing. Um, I do like the the flat, almost, you know, zero drop nature of the sole. I feel like that's a really good way to really strengthen up a lot of the muscles in your feet. When I used to run a lot, when I used to do like 20 to 30 miles per week, all I used to do um, was basically run in really thick sole shoes that would eventually end up fucking up the arch of my foot and give me a lot of plantar fasciitis and shit which is really awful so the only way to really help that um in a lot of kind of running you know tips and books and stuff that i read was to do a lot of running in shoes that were either zero drop and zero drop basically means that there was no difference from like the forefoot to the heel so it had the same kind of level of like a mid of like an outsole midsole type of thing and make sure it's super thin or sometimes they would encourage you to run on a grass barefooted to strengthen up your arches and a lot of the tendons and muscles in your fucking the soles of your feet 
So over time, I started doing that, started wearing really thin shoes and of course, improving my kind of running technique and making sure the heels of my feet were slapping the underside of my bum and sort of like running at a slight angle. Um, I think it's called the pose method. When you run, you run at a slight angle with a pose method and essentially you kind of keep that way of going and you use kind of gravity to kind of steer you forward and that kind of helped. So I'm really familiar with that kind of helping. But I really do think day to day, wearing shoes like this um, with that kind of level of a sole would really kind of eventually help your foot to get a lot stronger and obviously allow you to kind of, you know, grip the soles of your feet better and build up all those tendons or whatnot. And it also is kind of an easy thing to kind of wear straight away without so any sort of reply, any sort of nonsense and stuff. I kind of like it. And the fact that the price is really kind of easy as well. Um, it says here they're going to be 160. Um, their size is weird. It's kind of what size is one to three. But I actually like them. I'm not going to lie. Um, again, if my feet were more slivet, more sleek, I would definitely um, be into wearing them. But unfortunately, my feet are too wide, so it probably wouldn't work for me. And and in general, I don't really like wearing thin, thin, thin sole shoes. You know, I really like I, I kind of like to have a bit of a sole on my foot and stuff. I don't really like to walk around with fucking basically plimp soles and shit. They're a bit too thin for me, but they do look really good on. As you can see from this picture, this guy wearing them, I think he swagged them out really well obviously they look really good here with these um pants that he has on it looks like the upper is completely a sock i feel like maybe it was maybe it will stretch out so even if you have fat calves it might actually go around your feet so it's not probably only for skinny people so it, they do actually look quite good there this guy is actually swagging them out really well and i think the best picture is the basketballer Jalen brown Jalen brown's got a pair that he's wearing he's got the i think a pair that kanye gave to him in the brown color and he actually looks really good in them to be fair i'm not gonna lie obviously he's an athlete he's like six foot five seven in fucking amazing shape so anything he wears is gonna look good but i think he really makes him look really good to be fair this Jalen brown guy makes him look really fucking cool um and there's obviously a closer picture of him wearing a pair there they look pretty cool i'm not gonna lie they look really good there I actually don't mind how they look, especially how he's got them rocked. So I would actually wear them. But again, like I said, if only my feet weren't as fat, they definitely would fit and suit me well. Um, they kind of remind me a little bit as well. Rick Owens had a pair of these as well, similar that he did in the past. And obviously, Vetmar have a shoe as well they did from 2017, I think, that they put out. And there's definitely a bit of a beef going on there with them about it. But, you know, the less said about that, the better. The less said about that, the better. But yeah, big up those shoes available now at Yeezy Supply. You can purchase them along with all other bits and pieces available at Yeezy Supply. They've got Vultures merch, like sweatpants, tops, shorts, t-shirts, and obviously Vultures vinyl that's never going to come out. <laughs> what happened to the album? Typical Kanye release, isn't it? What happened to the fucking album? It's not dropped yet, has it? We're never getting this fucking album. This Ty Dolla Sign and Ye album's never coming out, is it? It's never fucking out. It's never fucking coming out. Unfortunately, it's never fucking coming out what can you do what can you do 